Peace and blessings, y'all, in this corner boxing 24. Here we go. How y'all doing this evening? Hope everybody's doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing well on this side as always. God is great. God is good. And I can't complain. And you know what? Even when you do complain, like if things happen, I'm not saying life is perfect. Of course not. But people don't care anyway. You know? And people like to hear you complain so they can say, you know, so they could try to have something on you. So, man, listen, I'm, I, you know, I learned how to complain less and less because it really don't matter. Plus, God is good anyway. And you know what? He's going to stay good and he's going to stay looking out and protecting you no matter what. But it, you got to go through things. I got to go through things in life. And that's how I found out what kind of character I really have by going through things and coming out on the other side. So, that's how boxing is as well, right? We go through different things in the ring, and we get in there and we fight, and then we find out what we're really working with. You know, we may take a punch. You know, we may um, be in a, a tough fight. But once we get through it, then we say, man, I got through that, man. Now I know what I'm working with. And that's why the best got to always fight the best and never run from each other. Because if you're fighting just the average, you'll never know what, you, what you're working with. You'll never really know what you got in your tank. So, of course, um, we got news earlier that WBA president, Mr. Mendoza, Gilberto Mendoza, is allowing Errol Spence, giving him the exception or an exception and a pass, basically, where he doesn't have to relinquish his belts at 147. He got three belts, WBA, WBC, and IBF, and he can move up to 154 and fight Keith Thurman and still hold on to those belts. And then if he decides to come back down, and then, according to what I read, he, he has 60 days after that to fight Thomas Crawford. And then remember, he's supposed to have 120 days after fighting in April to fight Boots for the IBF title. Boots is the interim IBF title holder right now after his fight on Saturday. So, but what's interesting to me is, is that, man, this man's getting breaks, man, after breaks. He getting breaks with not fighting mandatories. Now you're getting a break on going to another whole division. And fight? Why not fight Keith Thurman at 147? To do what? To come right back down 147 anyway and fight Keith or uh, Bud Crawford? Or is he going to fight Bud Crawford at 154 and stay there? But the whole point is you're going to hold up the belts. You're holding up the belts. And see, people would like to talk about Bud Crawford and what he did fighting David Avenician. And he had a backup plan and he had a side plan or a sneaky plan. And he was negotiating that fight. There was people who said he was negotiating that fight while he was negotiating with Errol Spence. And that may have been what he was doing. Maybe it wasn't. We, I really don't know. And honestly, we really don't know if he was doing that. I know what he said. And he said that he told Al Heyman that he wanted to get a fight in this year. So I guess when he saw things wasn't going his way, maybe he started negotiating then. Maybe he had a thought of it. Maybe they talked about it. And then when they seen it wasn't going their way, they just moved Fast forward with it. They move, you know, they, they jumped on it. Full speed ahead. And he said, let's get it, let's get it going. Or maybe it was always being done. But at least he's not doing what Spence is being allowed to do. Thomas Crawford got one belt, WBO. He's not holding up no divisions, no three divisions. So the IBF is giving him slack. The WBA giving him slack to fight at 154 and the WBC. You know, they're giving him slack. So he's in a good position right now to do what the hell he wants to do. Like, whose fault was it that you was in a car accident, another car accident? I, and I'm not saying, listen, it wasn't his fault. He was hit and all of that. But this is still an unfortunate situation. And life has to go on. Like, life moves on. So the division and boxing don't stop because you was in an accident or you had a unfortunate situation, man. That's all I'm saying. I'm not hating on Errol Spence. He's a hell of a fighter. Great fighter. Pay-per-view 
fella and all of that, right? He comes to fight. I'm just saying that if somebody else was getting the slack or somebody else was getting the play that he was getting, then what would he say? What would everybody else be saying? Then it'd be a problem. If Bud Crawford was getting the play that he was getting, it would be an issue, I'm sure. But he's not. You hold, three belts are being held up. That's all I'm saying, right? So now, which, so what is it going to be now? You can't fight Crawford in 60 days and then fight Boots in 120 days. Because that's two months, would it be June? That means he'd be fighting in June. And then you know damn well he's not coming back to fight in August, right? So 60 days, 120 days, who's he going to fight? Boots is trying to get the belts at 147. So I don't know if he's going to try to move up to 154 unless he just can't get anything that makes sense. But I know he really wants to get them belts at 147. But again, man, this man got the three belts. He's a unified champion. So it's being held up. It's just crazy. You know, I think he's getting a lot of play. And it shouldn't be that way, man. All right? You should be able to honor your mandatory. You fight, keep them at 147, and then you fight Boots after that in 120 days. You negotiate with Crawford. If that's the case, go back into negotiation with, with Terrence Crawford, man, and fight him. That's really how it should go, okay? Go back to the drawing board. Spin around the block, like Terrence Crawford said. Spin around the block again and fight Terrence Crawford in April. What's the problem with that? He ain't got no fight lined up. So why not fight him and then the winner fight Boots? What's wrong with that? And let Crawford and let Thurman fight Boots right now. Why not do it like that? I don't see why it can't be done. But politics, man. Politics of boxing. That's all I can see. And that's all I hear. Right? It is what it is. Um... So that's I just wanted to touch on that, man, and just wake us up, man. Just let us know, man. These are the things that happen. It's like one one person can do it, but the other person can't do it. You know? Um, I, listen, man, I love boxing, man, but I got to tell you what it is, and I got to speak the truth no matter who it is. Even if I like the fight, if he's doing something that's not right and he's being allowed to do something that's not right, then I got to talk about that. I mean, I got to say it. And with Spence, man, that's that's really what's happening. Okay, he's being able to pick and choose what he want to do. And I don't know if this is true. I don't know if he really was laughing or laugh out loud at Boots' uh, performance on Saturday, like as if it was funny. Because last I ch checked, he won all 12 rounds in the fights. So I don't know what there was funny to laugh at. I mean, hey, everybody in boxing is going to go 12 rounds one time or another, and even more than one time. Most fighters are going to do it more than one time. Okay, there's only a few that's not going to go 12 rounds. You're going to go 12 rounds in a fight, because that's what a fight is. Okay, if you get a knockout, you get it. But you really train to go 12 rounds. So I don't know what was funny about that, but if you was in the ring with a moving target, how would you do with somebody you couldn't stop and really cut the ring off with? and really do what you wanted to do. Maybe you could have, maybe you couldn't, but I don't see what the joke was because styles make fights. And when you get in the ring with the person, it may not be a laughing matter. So that's all I really got for this evening, y'all. Peace and blessings in this corner box in 24. Everybody be safe. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Peace.